All right, guys, uh, welcome back. Uh, in this video, I'm going to go through how to install an Azure VM agent uh, and enable it for extension. Uh, in the scenario I'm working with, uh, this is a VM that was deployed into Azure using a marketplace image, uh, but the VM agent was not enabled. Uh, if you come down here into properties on the portal on the VM, uh, you'll notice that uh, there's no option for the agent here. And also, if you go into extensions, you see a warning telling you that uh, you need to install the agent, right? Now, uh, key things to keep in mind, um, you can only get in this scenario if you deploy a VM using anything other than the portal. Uh, because with PowerShell, CLI, JSON, whatever you're using, you have the option to not enable uh, the agent provision. But if you're using the portal to deploy, that option is not available. Okay, so... Uh, now, let's say I've deployed it with whatever option, and now I want to get into uh, installing that agent and enabling extensions, okay? Um, the first thing uh, we can do here is to confirm, because even though right now there's no agent on it, but it could have been that the VMA was already provisioned for agent and it got removed. Uh, so what I like to do is actually, let me get the VM name here is uh, use PowerShell to confirm that the agent was not set to provision. And I can do that with just a few lines of uh, PowerShell um, commands here. I'm just going to provide my uh, VM name and the resource group that the VM is. And one thing that uh, people always uh, keep forgetting um, uh, is to you want to make sure you're logged in, right, to the... Uh, you want to make sure you log into the account that you're working on. Um, with the new PowerShell module right now, um, the logins are all saved in uh, in the contact, so it's easy. You don't have to log in every time. Uh, so I'm going to confirm. Yep, I am logged in, and this is the subscription that I'm working with. Uh, then I'm going to run. I'm going to set my variables. Then now I'm going to get the VM, and I'm going to check for provisioning agent and allow extension operations. Uh, if I run this lines. As you can see, they're both false, but I can run it one at a time so you see what I'm talking about. The provisioning agent is set to false, which means when the VM was provisioned, and uh, that switch was not enabled. And because the switch was not enabled when the VM was provisioned, the allow extension is also false. So now I can confirm that when this VM was deployed, uh, there was no option to provision the agent, right? Um, what I'm going to do next is I am going to actually jump into that VM and install the agent on it. Uh, let's go back here to my portal. Uh, this is, which one is the article? Uh, this is the article that covers installing the agent. Let me take that out. And I'm going to log into my VM. And I, I'm going to bring that article up inside of the VM. Um, the only key thing I, I, I want in that article is the link to download the uh, the, the agent on Windows. This this link here, the Windows agent, this is the link I need. So I'm going to click on that link. And I'm going to go ahead and run it. That would automatically install uh, the, um, the agent on the actual uh, virtual machine. Let's go next. I accept. Make sure you read the terms and condition. This is critical. Oh, finish. Now that should install the agent on the machine. I can confirm if I go to right click here and go to task manager. Uh, go to uh, more, uh, go to services. 
you can see the RD agent services is running it has just installed the uh, the telemetry service it should install another um, I think the guest agent should also be coming up in a few minutes here uh, so um, that is uh, it's basically this is the proof that the agent is actually installed now uh, not to waste time while this is actually going through its motion right um, what I'm going to actually do now is also enable um, extension operations on that VM so I'm going to jump back outside of my VM into my little PowerShell script and since I've already called out for the VM here I'm just using the same information I'm going to set that to true and then I'm going to update that uh, information That should definitely change that. Um, that should change that option so that uh, now the VM will allow um, <coughs> will allow extensions to be added uh, because the agent is uh, we've just installed the agent on the um, on the machine. Okay. Then I could then say give me new information. So I could say get the VM information again. And I can confirm now that this operation is showing us as true. Good. Uh, briefly, I'm going to jump back into my uh, VM. I right, confirm everything is running. Good. Uh, then I'm going to go back to the portal. And I'm going to refresh just to make sure everything is new. And I'm going to check on my properties. See, now I have the VM agent all installed and ready. And if I go to extensions, I no longer have the errors about uh, not able to uh, install extensions. And I can briefly just say add. And I can add an extension to the machine uh, with no problems. Okay, so while this is actually getting added, uh, things to note, uh, before with the uh, legacy, um, with the ASM, we used to go in here and actually switch the provisioning agent to true to be able to do, um, uh, to make changes, but the provision agent um, switch is, uh, uh, with ARM, it is not, uh, it's not something you can change. That just means that when the machine was deployed, it did not provision the agent, but you can always go in and switch the allow uh, extension switch turn on to be able to um, use extension with a machine that is not, um, uh, that wasn't provisioned uh, with the agent uh, when it was deployed, right? Uh, another thing that people always ask is, well, I, I mentioned creating this from a marketplace image. Um, that is because if you're creating this from a, a, a um, let's say uh, uh, an existing disk you do not get the OS profile so you do not need to jump through all these hoops by installing the agent on the machine you can uh, sorry, uh, in, by installing the agent on the machine you can still just apply uh, extensions okay uh, let's go ahead and refresh again let's confirm our, our accession is still going on but as you can see It's still installing. Okay, if I go back to the VM here, uh, let's see, refresh. And I come into the extension. Perfect. And that extension is installed successfully. Okay, I would uh, try to put all the links in the video. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, you have a great day.